before you start this video, I would like you to hit that like button and share this video. By doing so, you help it move through the algorithm. Here I stand with my bayonet. This bloody business is getting out of hand. Go on down there and finish a few off yourself. No protest, no fight, nothing. The bastards are so here. Combat is everywhere. Man has a right to defend himself against vermin. Some of us are sick of your interference. Go to hell. Now is a day I'm thinking about it. I'm more enthusiastic than the day I took the oath. Throughout the years, I've always stressed the importance of adaptation. When you are put in a situation where you cannot do things the way you want to, because of your condition, you have to find an alternative. There's a lot of people that do not want to get their hands mingled in to black magic because of all the stories they've heard and things that have actually happened to people who attempted to do black magic. This happens at times, the negative reaction happens at times because most people don't know what they're doing. So when you hear these stories, this is why it is. But today I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about an alternative to black magic. Sometimes people may piss us off in the worst type of ways and we want to cause them pain. We want to cause them grief. But sometimes it can do more damage to us than the fulfillment we get out of seeing our rivals suffer. So, in a scenario like this, we find that we step back or the people who are seeking work from spiritualists may step back away from that because that's not something that they want to deal with, you know. So, as an alternative, what many spiritualists recommend is doing reversal spells because it is like a boomerang. Whatever they throw at you returns to them. Not only is it in the world of spirit, but it's also in the world of matter. Let me explain something to you. Years ago, I was in my foolishness. There was someone who I was supposed to meet with. Being in my foolishness, I didn't know it was a setup. But before I left my house, I made sure that I carried my God. A God could be considered a talisman, talisman for protection. And I had it on my person and I went to go visit the person. Let's just say they attempted to rob me, but in return, it backfired on them. I don't need to go into much detail. You can use your imagination. So this is an example how even in physical things, a person may attempt to conspire to do evil against you, but then again, that evil falls back on them. Sometimes their evil may prevail only for their karma to come back to them tenfold. Now, when we're talking about spirit, someone may send black magic at you, but now the ritual backfires on them. So all the bad that they wished on you, it falls on them. They may make a mistake while they're putting their work together for you. They may put the wrong ingredient in 
and they get what they get. So this here is an alternative to black magic. With that said, I hope this video was informative. I thank you guys for watching. Like, share, and subscribe.